everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 448. I'm Nate Moore. So on the phone with the group this morning that said, hey, Nate, we want to analyze a bunch of things by zip code, but there are tons of zip codes. What can we do? And we're going to upload a list of zip codes and then categorize them, teach the data warehouse that information. So now we can run charges and payments, new patients, referrals, all that kind of stuff by zip code categories so we can get a real feel for the business. I'd love to do the same for your practice. Today what we're going to do is play more with data labels. Last time we worked on label position and we did label contains most of this stuff. What I want to do now is I'm going to take off the series name and let's do value from cells. What you can do new in Excel 2013 is rather than get the value here or the, the data label from the date or from the category or the series or whatever else, you can set up a different set of labels to put more information in your data label. Briefly, let me show you how I'm doing it. I don't want to get terribly worked up about this formula, but what I'm doing is I'm going to look at cell B3, so Monday at the main location. If it's greater than the average for the week, B3 to B7, times 125%. So if it's more than 125% of the average, I want the label high to show up above this column. If the B3, if the main Monday value is less than 75% of the average, I want the word low to show up, otherwise average. So that's what this calculation here is doing. And I threw those numbers out here just in simple formulas so you could see that 452 is more than 433, 125% of the average, so that's going to show up high. And this down here, 219 is less than 75% of the average, that's going to show up low. I'm really not worked up about the formula. What I want to do is show you how to make the result of the formula show up in a data label. So now that I've written this formula, what I can do is I can come over here and let's see, let's go to the data labels. There we go. And what I want is value from cells. So rather than put the value, well, let's do an in addition to. Let's leave the value and we'll add value from cells. So what Excel says is, okay, I can add more information besides Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, besides Maine and downtown. Where is that information? So I'm going to just click the red arrow and say it's right here. And by doing that, now what I can do is I can say this is high, this is average, this is average. And if I take the value away, you can see high, average, average, low, low. Now high, average, and low isn't in the world, but the point is you could put all kinds of interesting information in here that said, hey, if these things were true, if we, if this provider wasn't in that day, or if it was, you know, week three in a four-week rotation or whatever, you could put logic here, like I did 125% of average, and make the logic show up in the data labels for your chart. It's a great way, again, to make the data interactive, especially if this is going to update again next month and next month and next month. Remember last time we said, hey, you can move data labels around, but you probably don't want to do that if you're going to reuse this chart. This is a great way to tweak the information on a chart and still reuse it next month because this formula will still be good next month and all we need to do is change these numbers and away we go. The other thing I want to show you just briefly in this video is if I right click these data labels, notice I right when I right clicked, I had all the data labels selected. If I click it twice, I can just select that data label, but I'm going to select all of them. If I right click, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change data label shapes. This is the default shape, but I can make it more of an oval or make it look more like a question or like a quote box or something like that. Let's make it an oval. And you can see now I can change the way the data labels look by right clicking and changing the data label data label shapes. This leads to a thing that's new in Excel 2013 called the data callout. See that data callout? It, it, it looks different than what we have now. It's a data callout. That's what we're going to play with in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.